UFOs are real, burgeoning and not going away. I am your intrepid host, Elia Marzulli. Very interesting report here. I'm going to keep the people anonymous, but um, I think you'll find it very interesting. You can see something is on the screen behind me, and it is, in my opinion, the real deal. Close encounters of the first, bordering into the second kind. So we'll get into that and so much more. But first, a word from our trusted sponsor. Can you imagine your cell phone company leaking your social security number? Good grief. That's what happened to 63,000 individuals who had their private data exposed during a recent data breach. This is why I protect myself with today's sponsor, Virtual Shield, and I absolutely love them. Folks, Virtual Shield's military grade VPN helps protect my private information from the prying eyes of cyber criminals, data mining companies, tech giants, rogue ISPs, and so much more. Start browsing the internet anonymously today with up to 67% off and a 60-day risk-free trial of Virtual Shield by visiting preparewithlamarzuli.com. That's preparewithlamarzuli.com or simply click the link down in the description box below. Once again, prepare with lamarzuli.com. Don't wait, folks. Do it today. So this was sent to me. I'm just going to roll the clip here. Um, I think you'll find it really interesting. I know I did. This is the real deal. Let's watch it. It was way up by those upper clouds. Yeah, it was. And then it came down. Yeah, it came down. I don't know if I'm kidding you. I think I am. Why is it going down and down? Okay, let's move it down again. Yeah, so you can see it moving very, very slightly, but it is moving. It's not the camera moving. The end, the, the, and watch when the plane, I think this is the same shot. You can hear the plane in the distance. It went up. And then there's a plane that flies close to it. Check this out. You can hear the plane's motor. What is that? Yeah, what is that? Why is it going up again? Why is it going up again? It'd be different if it was a reflection. It could be something from the sun. Yeah, I don't think so. Not moving around like that. So yeah, exactly. Like it's very close. Very close. Look at it go. It's interdimensional. It's interdimensional. Oh, look at it going up there. Oh, look at it going up there. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's it is hovering over one place. I mean, it's like it's like it's just going up and down in one place. Yeah, a little bit side to side. Yeah, it's it's gone over to the right. It's gone over to the right. Than where it was. Than where it was. That is odd. Oh, it's a it's a UFO. It's a it's a UFO. Definitely UFO. Definitely UFO. I'm I'm gonna have to do better. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a UFO. That's what it is. UFO. UFO. I'm saying a UFO. It's a UFO. That's really good stuff in the, in the sense that, you know, she's pretty steady with the camera. You'll notice that we don't see a craft per se. We see something that's very bright that's moving erratically all throughout the sky. It's not a reflection. The camera's nice and still. They know what they're looking at. What amazes me about this is just the way it is just kind of hanging in there. And I would have said this, rebuke first, ask questions later. Um, when we see something like this that's that's close to us, and that's pretty close, uh, always take authority over it because you don't know, you know, what's about to happen or what could happen. So the bottom line is this is close encounters of the first kind. If it had moved closer to them, it would have been close encounters of the second kind. But this is what I find amazing, that the phenomenon is not going away. Uh, tomorrow I will be uh, recording at uh, Prophecy Watchers and we'll be discussing 9 and 10 in our ongoing UFO film series. And the title of 9 is What is the Truth? You know, folks, I've been doing this for like over 30 years, and there's a lot of Johnny-come-latelys who are now talking about the UFO phenomena because now all of a sudden it's on their radar. And I will just say this, that these are interdimensional entities. 
They have a very nefarious agenda. There is absolutely 100% physicality to the phenomenon. Yes, there, some of it can be delusional. I understand that. Or it can be like an illusion. I understand that. But there's physical craft. There's physical craft. And we've showed that in our Roswell series. When we were out of the debris field, that's number two in the Roswell series, uh, which is number eight in, in the ongoing series. In the debris field is what it's called. And we were out there, Gil Zimmerman and Jim Peterson and, and um, Chuck Zukowski, Frank Kimbler, with metal detectors, we found two pieces of the metal. So we're not making this stuff up. It's real. It's burgeoning and not going away. Thanks so much for watching. We'll be back again tomorrow. Hey folks, I have a special announcement. We just opened up a new website. It's called roswellrevisited.com, roswellrevisited.com. I want to thank Chauncey Green for getting that set up for it. Please go there and check it out. We've got a deal for you. We really do. Both of these incredible DVDs. This is real investigative journalism, roswellrevisited.com. Go check it out now. And we've got a special deal for both of these two DVDs. And I think you'll find it interesting. By the way, when you guys buy the DVDs from us or watch on, on our streaming station, you help keep the lights on here and keep us moving the ball further down the court. UFOs are real, burgeoning, and not going away. RoswellRevisited.com, RoswellRevisited.com. And before I go, I want to give a shout out to Gil Zimmerman because Gil and I worked on this film, and I think it's the best two films we've ever created in, in our entire uh, time together and, and in the entire UFO film series. Nine and Ten will be coming out very shortly. More about that soon. Meantime, RoswellRevisited.com. Thanks so much.